what's up? My name is Crystal, also known as Good Girl Gone Fashion, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Good Girl Gone Fashion. Happy New Year to you all. Um, this is the first video I am putting out for the new year, and it is officially winter time so yes the weather has definitely changed and i just wanted to go over with you all some winter essentials that has helped me out in my wardrobe that will possibly help you out in yours so make sure you stick around all right so this video is all about winter essentials and I have 10 things that has helped me and my wardrobe during the cooler months. So I'm going to share them with you all and hopefully they will be of help to you. And if you see me looking down during this, I do have my handy dandy notebook with me helping me with all my little winter essentials so I can stay on track. So let's go ahead and get started with the first winter essential and of course i will pop up some examples and pictures on the screen as well all right so first let's talk about um one of my favorite um, winter essentials which would be like an oversized sweater i feel like they can pretty much pair with anything skirts a nice trousers a nice pair of jeans they're perfect for work and um running errands, something that's gonna keep you warm and cozy would definitely be an oversized sweater. Now, the type of oversized sweater that I normally gravitate to are like the creams and knits and stuff like that. I love cream because it's a neutral and I feel like that's something that could be easily paired with black or gray or denim. So yes, that would be my first winter essential or oversized sweater. And um, they're great for layering too. So if you place something underneath it, like a cami, which um, I can flow right into the next winter essential, like camis and tanks, that's something that you can layer underneath those oversized sweaters. So if you are out and about and running errands, you can possibly take that sweater off and you still have something on that is gonna keep you warm during the winter months. So yes, we have the oversized sweater and we have the cami and tanks for winter essentials. Next, I'm gonna move into a good pair of denim. Now, me personally, I'm still loving denim with like rips and tears, not as many rips and tears. I want to keep it as cute and casual as possible. So um, maybe like a rip or two in the knee. And um, I like my jeans to be high waisted. And jeans provide warmth. <laughs> which is perfect for the winter time. So a nice pair of denim, um, for me, preferably high waist. I have seen a lot of mid rises like slowly coming back. Not necessarily my thing, but hey, if it's your thing, go for it. I like my jeans to be long and fall over my sneakers or my boots or my heels. And I preferably like to buy my jeans at Pretty Little Things, H&M, or Target. Now, if you have another place that I should check out, make sure you leave it in the comments. And the next one to essential I want to talk about is the oversized scarf. Yes, we have been seeing these pop up everywhere. I have a green one that I purchased from H&M that I love. Um, I feel like it could also like cover my hair if need be. It's so warm, it's so thick, I can wear it in so many different ways. And scarves are really just a fun accessory. And what makes it even more fun is that it provides warmth, especially during these cooler months. 
I cannot stand for my neck to be exposed. <laughs> so I love throwing a scarf on and keeping my neck nice and warm. So yes, it's gonna be the oversized scarf. You can style them and wear them so many different ways. And sometimes what I like to do is just leave it in my car so I know that it's in there and that it's gonna be available if I need it. Sometimes I get a little bit too hot and I can't drive and all that. But um, just to know that it's in there for when I get out the car is right on time. So yes, the next winter essential I want to talk about is shoes. Now, I'm gonna break this down in two parts, sneakers and boots. So as far as the sneakers, I would say go with a nice neutral sneaker. Me personally, I have been gravitating towards my new balances. They are a light and gray, they're a light gray color. So I feel like they go well with anything. Tans, blacks, creams, blues. I can pull those out and wear them with anything. They are super comfortable and it's a nice neutral color, which they're not really making a statement. They're getting the job done and um, they're comfortable as well. Now, as far as the boots, I have also been gravitating to like my black chunky boots, especially on days where like they're calling for rain or it's a lot cooler outside and I would like my ankle to be covered. I like to gravitate towards my black chunky boots now. I have been literally seeing these everywhere. <laughs> um, let's see, I've seen them on H&M's website. I've seen them all over Zara's website. I've seen them in Macy's. I've seen them in Dillard's. I've seen them in Nordstrom. Just a nice chunky black boot with like the lug sole. That's the one I'm talking about. And of course you will be seeing pictures. They're very stylish as well. I've seen girls dress them up with dresses. I've seen them worn with jeans and things of that nature. So I would say a good pair of shoes for a winter essential would be a good neutral sneaker. It doesn't have to be the New Balance or some sort of black chunky boot. Moving on to the next winter essential. Next, I wanna talk about leather. So we have all been on our leather kick and we have been loving it and me as well. So yes, and for leather, I'm mostly talking about leather pants. Now I love a good leather coat and things of that nature, but leather pants are gonna provide us that warmth that we are gonna need in these cooler months. Most of them are lined in the inside. Um, the leather pants I have from H&M have some sort of lining in the inside, which keeps my legs nice and warm. So yes, um, any type of leather, doesn't have to be pants. You can go the route of the leather jacket or a leather blazer, which I've been loving a lot lately too. I even have some leather oversized shirts that I have purchased from Zara that I love as well. So yes, make sure you are writing down and you are putting on your list to get you some leather pieces for this winter. And of course, I would prefer probably the faux leather over like genuine leather. All right, moving right along to the next winter essential. Of course, we're gonna need a nice warm coat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Personally, I love the long faux um, fur coats. They are just night, like the teddy coats. I feel like those ain't going anywhere. They're warm. Um, they're warm and, and on top of them being warm, most of them are actually pretty much lightweight. Like they're not super heavy, but they get, but they definitely give you that warmth. So, I would, um, and you can go with like a neutral color, like browns or creams. Do not be scared of the creams. <laughs> yes, they're easy to get dirty, but you can clean them. You can dry clean them. Do not hold your back 
do not hold yourself back from whites or creams because you're scared of getting them dirty. Clean them. It's just that easy. Clean them. So, yes. Um, so, I like the long faux fur like teddy coats and i'm also loving the puffer coats the puffer coats ain't going anywhere either <laughs> i've been seeing them all this season so far like the little short crop ones and yes they're pretty short but they provide warmth what we want to be we want to be warm <laughs> in the winter time so yes, um, the puffer coats and the long faux fur like teddy coats, perfect for the winter um, essential that you would need in your wardrobe. All right, so a next winter essential I wanna talk about is an accessory. And for me, it's a bigger purse. I carry a lot more stuff in the winter time. I like to carry my makeup bag in my purse. I like to carry my planner in my purse, my phone, my charger, my sunglasses, um, my wallet. So all of those things require me to put things in a bigger purse. And even though it may not be as convenient as far as carrying it around because in the warmer months, you can kind of grab those little small dainty purses, throw your ID card, lip gloss, car keys, and go. In the cooler months, you may need something a little bigger to tote around your scarves and all of that stuff, your gloves and things like that. So that's why I said a bigger purse and preferably something that if it is bigger, maybe something that has a longer strap. So if you are out running errands and doing things of that nature, you can kind of put that bag crossbody. You may be carrying around more weight, <laughs> but um, it is essential to make sure you have all your necessities with you at all times. So yes, that's why I have a bigger purse <laughs> on my winter essential list. Next, I have one of my favorites, which is a sweatsuit. <laughs> I love a matching sweatsuit. It is just my thing. Recently, it has been my thing. I love a matching set and a sweatsuit in the cooler months just set it off for me. Um, they're warm. Sometimes if you layer under them pretty well, you can't, that's really all you would need to wear, depending on what the temperature is. I'm not saying go outside and freeze yourself, but yes. Um, and I like for the actual sweat shirt to be kind of like a little bit oversized. And I like for the pants to be a little bit more fitted, if that makes sense. But yes, um, I really love sweatsuits. So let me know in the comments if you like sweatsuits as well, um, because I wanna know <laughs> that, it, that I'm not just tripping. But yes, I love a good sweatsuit. And um, yes, like I said, it's, it's an easy outfit to look pulled together. When all else fails, if you need to wash your jeans or your cozy sweater that you love, and you have that sweatsuit that you know you can pull out that drawer, you can iron or steam it real quick and put that on and add your accessories, your bag and your coat, and just that fast, you have a look pulled together. So yes, that's why the sweatshirt, I mean the sweatsuit <laughs> is my next winter essential. And last, we have hats um, for winter essentials. We have to make sure we are keeping our heads nice and warm as well. <laughs> so yes, I'm talking about beanies, I'm talking about fedoras, and I'm talking about like baseball hats. They are just fun. It's another part of an accessory that you can zhuzh up a little bit and that you can make it fun, whether they you want like a neutral color, you wanna rep your sports team. Um, the fedoras can be a great look 
to a woman's wardrobe to give it that little extra mm. so yes and then of course you know beanies you can throw on just to keep your head nice and warm as well as with the um baseball hat and the fedoras as well so yes that's why i have hats so let's run down my list one more time just to make sure we have everything number one we have oversized sweaters number two a good pair of denim number three a oversized scarf number four you want to have your shoes whether you have a neutral pair of sneakers or a nice pair of chunky black boots number five you have your camis and your tanks that are good for layering number six you have leather Number seven, you have your winter coats that are gonna keep you nice and warm. Number eight, you're gonna have a bigger purse so you can carry all of your essentials <laughs> that are needed. Number nine, you're gonna have a nice and warm, cozy sweatsuit. And number 10, you're gonna have a hat. And these are my 10 winter essentials that we are gonna need in our wardrobe to keep us nice and warm this winter season while also looking fabulous. Make sure you drop in the comments below and let me know what is the winter essential that you always need. I know I was not able to list every single thing, but hopefully some of these items will be helpful for you. But yes, let me know in the comments something that you need every winter as an essential for you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Toodles.